Hey guys, wanted to do a quick update on uh, PEI as a build material here the, on the, for the bed on my Taz 4 printer. Um, I've been experimenting with this stuff for about two or three months. I print quite a bit, and in that two or three months, I've print at least a hundred parts if not more and um, originally I just clipped it on with these bulldog clips to try to keep it nice and flat um, because I wasn't committed to using it a hundred percent yet well after all of the prints that I've done realizing I need no glue no hairspray no ABS juice or anything on it I decided to go and do it permanently so now it's attached with a 12 inch by 12 inch adhesive back tape um, very very thin tape basically as thin as a sheet of paper so now it's on there permanently I will say that this is absolutely the best way to go it's not perfect though PEI this sticks very well for both PLA and ABS. Um, I have not tried it with nylons or polycarbonates or any of the other things out there. <coughs> but uh, it does take a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, the first thing is, is that if you act or do like you would normally with ABS or PLA, it can be nearly impossible sometimes to get your parts off the bed. So the difference is, raise your hot end up a little bit. You want it to be uh, just barely touching. Now ABS is a little touchier. So, you know, print a small sample product first and reach over and, and grab it and push it and if you can easily peel it off lower it just a hair I mean I I, I on this this is the uh, knob here to raise and lower the, the uh, nozzle height the ZN stop I go in 16th uh, turn so like from here to like there and that's how fine I adjust it it's also because you want to print as high as as high as possible on this it is incredibly important to make sure that your bed is level and by level I mean that the nozzle is the same distance away whether you're at this corner this corner this corner or this corner but if you get that distance correct and you dial in your nozzle height so that it just barely sticks it is so amazing. Now, I still have to use this tool to uh, remove my prints. And I go in at a corner. And as long as I can get it under there, and sometimes I actually hit the uh, end of it with a little hammer. I just tap it while i am got it down like this and I press on it so that the end of it is flat and I tap it with a hammer once you get it under there you can wiggle this around and move it from end to end and just keep wiggling it and you'll and it'll pop off if you're patient and you wait f for this to cool down then it's it's going to be much much easier to remove your parts um, and for ABS I use a bed temperature of 85 C Celsius, of course. For PLA, I use 60. Um, I do think it's necessary. Now, I have actually lightly sanded this with micro mesh sanding pads uh, using 8000 grit, which is very, very fine. If you feel it, you'd almost swear it was a polishing cloth for glasses or something. It's so fine. But um, I did that because I, I kind of messed it up when I was first. Uh, using it and I found though that the light sanding you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a, a you can see the LEDs kind of 
glinting off of there. Um, I found that the light sanding actually helps. I believe it helps with adhesion. So if you're if you have PEI and your and your stuff's not sticking, give it just a. You want at least six thousand to twelve thousand grit paper or sanding pads. The micro mesh sanding pads are best because they're very very even. Um, but anyways, it works really good. Make sure your bed is level. That's the biggest, biggest, biggest thing on this. And uh, I will never go back to using glue or ABS slurry or hairspray or blue tape or any of that stuff. PEI is the way to go. So, if you have any questions, leave them below, below in the comments, and uh, I try to answer all the questions uh, as best as I'm able. And if you got any any uh, information off of this, if you like this video at all, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot, and I will always create more. Thanks for now. See you next time.